It can be domestic violence, it's home violence. All right, it can be your home violence, you know. Uh, it can be home violence too. Anybody ever been raised with domestic violence? I was. I was. And it's all right, man. That's the only way y'all gonna get free. So nobody ever been in a home with domestic violence. No yelling. That's where it starts at. That's where it starts at. Any physical, punch of walls, holes in walls, slamming doors. Statistically, now and I'm gonna tell y'all something because I can, I'm gonna be free. Watch this here. When I mean free, I'm just gonna be my sandwich now. I didn't understand what domestic violence was or stuff until I got involved with domestic violence. Domestic violence has a pattern, man, of abuse. It can be verbally abuse. It can be uh, physical, physical abuse also. And yes, domestic violence is uh, uh, characterized also as uh, uh, intimate partner violence also. It is, all right? So that means that there can be somebody who is in a domestic relationship with somebody who verbally abuses them. Taking cell phone, taking uh, pocketbooks, control issues is domestic violence. And statistics says this, y'all, watch this here. Statistics say that if you was raised in a house with domestic violence, now time to take guess what? You're gonna do it. You may not say that you're gonna do it, but there's a part of you that may have anger issues because that's what all begins at. So I got involved with domestic violence. And a part of getting involved with domestic violence, man, I began to start seeing these things. Like I told y'all, the guy that I used to hang out around with, prior to me talking to him the week before, he goes to the girl house, his girl, his baby mom's house, the girl's pregnant. Uh, the girl has two other kids. He goes there uh, and he shoots in the face. He shoots in the face. He kills him. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say, why you did that? Say why he did that. Why he did that? Yeah. Somebody said, why, why did he do that? You know why he did that? Because he had some deep down issues. That just didn't happen overnight. That had a lot to do with his upbringing. His dad died of AIDS. His mom died. He had a lot of issues. I watched this young guy grow up. I knew he had anger issues. But when I was talking to him, he said, he said, man, I'm straight. I said, you straight? He said, yeah, I'm straight. Now, after he did that, his brother called me that day. He said, man, my brother said, come out to the county and talk to him. Well, you want to talk now? Ain't really too much I can say. It's not really too much I can say. I can't, I can't eat that for you. That's something that you're going to have to deal with for the rest of your life. And your child, your other child, is gonna, is gonna have to grow up saying, you know what? My dad's in prison for the rest of his life for killing my mom. That's some stuff you see on TV. Yeah. That stuff is happening. It's some real life stuff. So domestic violence is, is real, guys. But at the same time, you have to make sure that whatever anger issues or whatever control issues or whatever emotional issues that you have that may be rooted deep down inside because of how you was raised and the things that you might have dealt with or been through in your life, you've got to come to the reality and realize that this opportunity that you have, it comes once in a lifetime. If you're looking to reach us and you want to become a bit of innovative dad or want to know more about innovative dad, you can reach us at YouTube slash innovative dad. Also, uh, you can also reach us at innovative dad.org. You can also reach us. So we look forward to just giving you the information that you need that's going to help you to know more about what we're doing. I promise you the information is fulfilling, it's an exciting. We're prepared to do something great. And so we want you to be a part of what we're doing, become an innovative dad today.